I found something today that I've been looking for for a long time at Titan Moon Comics. They're a, a local comic book shop here in Cedar Park, but they also carry a lot of action figures and a lot of really cool toys. That's where I, I buy most of my Funko Pop figures and uh, some of the other figures that I've bought. Uh, I might not have shown, but I was really excited today because I found something that I've been looking for for a long, long time. It's the Batman animated series Batman with the actual costume from the TV show looks just like the character in the the animated series uh, it's just it it's really hard to find uh, an actual Batman figure from that series that looks like the figure from the from the uh, from the show they only made one, and I have it, but I don't have it here. I have it at my office at work, and it was called Combat Belt Batman. It was the only one that had the, the, the actual colors of the character in the, the TV show. And this is something I, I, I don't think I've ever shown anybody, but I have... I started collecting these. This one is from 2000. This is the, the 200th... Uh, Batman action figure that was ever made so they when when they did one for 100 which I also have that one and they're made by different companies uh, it started out uh, with superpowers and then uh, the Dark Knight uh, collection Batman animated series blah 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 mask of the phantasm and stuff but it's literally on the back all of the different Batman figures up to 2000 that were made and this one was the 200th one. Uh, like I said, I have the 100th somewhere here, but I got so much stuff I can't find anything. This one I really liked a lot because it's the, the Batman Beyond. And I really loved that series, the Batman Beyond. Uh, and it has a little thing here that you can... That's why I never took it out of the package because... I think uh, the packaging is awesome, and it has this this neat interactive feature. So I've always left that in there. So early on, um, I think it was in the early '90s, they 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 released the the combat belt Batman, and uh, it was the only one that had the the actual color, you know, the actual outfit. So I picked this up today. And uh, I really like this packaging. I like this series. All the other figures from this series are really, really, really nice figures. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Take a look at this guy. It's kind of pricey, but it's a larger figure than the uh, animated series figures. I think I have one. I have a couple of them up here. Yeah. I have this guy here. This one was called Lightning Strike Batman. And is Well, he's got... There we go. But they, they came out with all of these different variations of Batman. With all these crazy suits. They were... It was all... It was essentially the exact same figure, but they... They only made one that looked like the one from the TV show. I mean, this guy is cool. I really like, I really like this figure. But as you can see, it's considerably smaller than this guy. So I think twenty-five bucks is a good price for this particular figure. Oh, it uh, comes with all the rest of the stuff. These are the other figures. We've got Batman, Riddler, Penguin, Batgirl, Roxy, Rocket, uh, Nightwing, Bane, Scarecrow, Mad Hatter, and the Batmobile. This Roxy Rocket looks really amazing. I'm going to have to try to find that. And the Batmobile. They actually have a scale Batmobile that goes with this figure. The Batman animated series Batmobile is my all-time favorite Batmobile. I think it's really cool, and I've seen some uh, 
some um, video of that Batmobile, and it is incredible. It's pretty expensive. It's a hundred bucks, but it's got light up headlights, tail lights, uh, the wheels turn. It's got a really nice looking cockpit. I, I, I'm definitely gonna. If they'd have had that one today, I would have bought it, but they didn't have it. So let's get this guy out. Okay, there's only one tie here. Only one, one of these to deal with. I remember when figures used to, nope, there's another one. It was under the cape. I remember when these things used to come so strapped down. I mean, you had to literally had to get wire cutters out, get these darn things off of the packaging. That is probably one of the best Batman figures ever. Head articulation, head moves. Great articulation on this figure. And of course the, the hands pop off and they have their different hands that you can pop on with grappling hooks and grappling gun and you know different different hand poses. Comes with a batarang, of course. I'm not going to bother going through all of this. Uh, I'll set this up later, but I really like that. And it comes with a stand. Um, apparently. Okay. Let's see. We have a stand here. It's called. Turn around. So I guess you put this in here. Cause some of these some of these figures don't really stand well. Let's see how this guy. Yeah, see? A lot of these figures. A lot of these figures don't stand well. He can stand on his own, but it's kind of, I don't know. I would like to have it in the stand. So it's got this that goes over here and connects here. And then you can put that yeah. Put that around his waist. Kind of like a museum stand. That's really good. I like that. Great uh, display piece. And I love the cape. I gotta say that I think this is one of my all-time favorite, uh, one of my all-time favorite Batman action figures. It's got some heft to it too. It's got some good weight to it. That is really cool. I I I I, I give this this figure a big thumbs up. I I really do. I can't wait to see that Batmobile, and uh, I will get it. So. There we have it. There's the Batman animated series, the new one that just came out. Um, if you're in the Austin area, check out Titan Moon Comics and uh, pick one up if they have any left. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching.